Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my beauty favorites for September. Let's be real here, it is going to be a summer and September favorites because y'all know that I suck at doing favorites. I'll be showing you everything that is on my face right now, plus maybe like one or two things on the side to do with hair. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. The first makeup product, as you guys already know what it is, this is not anything new. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 3. This is a little peach on me, but it works for underneath my makeup. This stuff, I've literally said this is my holy grail. I use it with every single makeup look. The only makeup look that I haven't used it for was the video that I did with my friend, Laura Christina. She is a fellow beauty YouTuber here. I will go ahead and link the video in the eye up above so you guys can watch that. I've used almost half of this. I've had this for a couple years. I probably should have gotten rid of it, but I don't want to waste. So really, really love this product. It's really nice underneath foundation. Still gives you a luminous glow. It makes your foundation go on a lot smoother and it is easier to blend out your foundation, especially if you have a foundation that is going to be a matte foundation, a natural finish or something that is not dewy. I've mentioned so many times to go get this, go get this, try it out. They do have smaller versions that you guys can get get of this and I think I might get a shade darker. This is a must have in your routine. The next product that I have here are for brows. As you guys already know, the NYX Brow Glue is my holy grail. I love it. I've been using it since the beginning of the year. Couldn't use anything else. However, when I did collab with Look Fantastic, I did get the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. This stuff is amazing. It is literally amazing. Have it in my brows right now. My brows are still standing straight up as you guys know my hair is so freaking stubborn so stubborn anytime that I would put any type of brow gel in it or anything it would not stay up I have been using this brow freeze lately I absolutely love it you do not need a lot of product you just load up the product you put it on at the back of the cap take off the excess and you can go ahead and brush through your brows. I have seen some people say this does not hold up my brows whatsoever. There may be some other people that do have thicker brows and I do um, so I understand that it wouldn't work but if I could help find a solution I would suggest go the opposite direction of your brows and then go back this way so you can coat the base of your brow so you can get to the root of the brows. I learned that from Robert Welsh and it totally makes sense. Product that I use on my brows in this video and that I have been using it since the beginning of the year. As you guys know, I love this product. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch Pen. This is in the shade black. It is not completely black, but it is pretty dark. Just perfectly with my hair color. At first, the brow pen is really nice. It distributes the product really well. My only issue with this is if you lay it downward where the brush is here, when you open it up, product leaks out everywhere, so you have to hold it up this way where the brush is up top when I go to shake it out too much product comes out and then there's just a blob on my eyebrow that's the only issue that I have with it but other than that this is literally the best brow pen that I have used I've tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills one and that one is nice but it is too thick and the color is way way off the next product we have here is by glam light this is the glam light Michaela collab eyeshadow palette I freaking love this palette the packaging is super cute. It is so Michaela. I've been doing this a lot lately where I am just putting on like a quick transition shade or all over the lid and then I'll do a really quick winged liner with eyeshadow with this palette. This palette is amazing. The shimmers and the metallics are so pigmented. The matte shades blend out really well. Even the pastel colors are super pigmented. They go on so well. There's no patchiness, anything like that. The colors that I will let you know that I have been using the last two months. It is my go-to look. I'll go in with Gemini and then how you doing? And then I'll go in with this. This is also another favorite of mine. This is the Arcelli Ojos Perfectos Eyeliner. I'll go in with 
with the shade chocolate I'll go in with this first and do my wing and over top I'll go in with willow I thought willow was more of a dark brown shade but it is actually a purple like a really deep purple shade and you guys when I tell you this makes my brown eyes pop it makes my brown eyes pop I have been wearing that combination almost every single time that we have gone out whether it be a wedding or a birthday party or going to hang out with friends that has been my go-to look and it is absolutely beautiful the next product that i have like i said before i really did not want to love this when i had filmed this video it was probably beginning of september i think this is a foundation it is the dior air flash i really did not want to love this i didn't want to love Love this it is so expensive it is $62 however this lives up to the hype this is so amazing I love the finish of this it is a dewy luminous finish without being too much when I put this on over my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter it glides right on it blends out right away the color is off it is I'm gonna have to get a lighter shade yes I'm gonna get a lighter shade I know I know it's freaking amazing. The lasting power of this is absolutely amazing. I can wear this a full day and it does not budge. If anything, my skin looks better. This doesn't go into any of my fine lines. It doesn't go into any of my expression lines. It doesn't accentuate my pores. It doesn't do anything like that. I don't know why it took me so long to try this, but I freaking love this stuff. For concealer, I do absolutely love this. Honestly, like I hadn't really heard of this brand beforehand until I had seen it on TikTok. This is by by nude sticks this is the concealer it's just a cream concealer I have this in nude four it is a little peach but it does help with my under eye circles with correcting a little bit so I'm totally okay with that um, but this is supposed to help plump in the under eye area so if you do have wrinkles this would be really good for it and it, this goes on really smooth it does crease no concealer is creaseless if you have creases or you have wrinkles it is gonna crease it will it just will but I would have to say out of all of the concealers that I have tried, this is the one that does not crease up the most, if that makes sense. So I've been using this nonstop lately. If you look at all of my reels, you'll see that I use this a lot because it's bomb. For eyelashes, I do not have any false lashes. I haven't really been wearing them lately. I have worn them in a couple of videos, but for the most part, I have not been wearing them at all. For the top lashes, I have the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. As you guys know, my holy grail is the Lash Sensational, but since growing up my lashes, I've been using this a lot lately, and I feel like with the wand or the bristles on here, I needed a brush that wasn't as stiff. I needed something to move with my eyelashes. This definitely gives you lift, it gives you volume, it gives you separation, it gives you curl. I did not have to to use an eyelash curler when using this product and I didn't have to use a comb this time to comb out my lashes. The formula is amazing and it doesn't transfer from top to bottom. Freaking love this stuff. For the bottom lashes, as you guys know, the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara is my holy grail. My freaking holy grail for the bottom lashes. I don't use anything else but that. But I did get this in PR. This is by Item Cosmetics. This is the Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. It has a smaller wand. For my top lashes, I didn't really like it because the formula did dry out a little too fast and it had to work really, really quickly. With the longer lashes, it just it just didn't work out really well but for the bottom lashes it got every single lash and when I wanted to add a second coat just to make my lashes look a little thicker on the bottom it didn't get clumpy at all I love the formula it doesn't flake it doesn't transfer it doesn't do any of that for bronzer this one was hard because I have two that I use on a regular basis and I didn't want to choose between the two but I felt like because I had used the other one so much and I showed it every video that I had to choose the one that I don't really show very often in videos and that I just use on a regular basis outside of YouTube. This is the Becca bronzer. This is in Bali Sands. When I had first purchased this, I had done a try on haul and I was like, this doesn't really have any pigment to it. Maybe if I am lighter, it will work out. I think this is one of the lightest shades or the lightest shade. I think it looks natural. I think it looks really good on the skin. It is not too orange. It is not too red. It is a good right 
side in between. I think after you get past the first layer of this, you are good to go. Now it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but not too much to where you could tell when it's on your face. The ridges are almost gone on this because I have used it so much. I know that Smashbox is adopting the under eye corrector that I absolutely love, but I don't know if they're adopting this. And if they are, I'm gonna be really happy because I actually really do love this bronzer, but we will see. And as you guys know, this one's my favorite. And it's almost panned. Oh my gosh, I haven't panned something in so long, so this is exciting, but it's also really sad. Next, we have blush. The blush that I have been using so much lately is by Jaclyn Hill. This is the Rouge Romance eyeshadow palette. This one is in Rouge Affair. I love the packaging on this. It is really cute. I love that it is blue. I don't really see anything that is blue very often, blue with gold, and I think that it, this is so pretty. For the blush palette, it is the Cool Tone one. I I like cool tones on my skin even though I am more of a yellow warm tone I think that these just look better on me I absolutely love every single one of these shades the shades that I have been using most of though lately is this shade right here and this one down here I actually mix these two that's what I'm wearing today and I love it the combination it makes for a great neutral shade so you can pretty much wear these shades with nearly everything these are very smooth they're buttery they're very pigmented I can't go without this. It's a fairly good price too. She tries to make all of her things affordable. And for a one of the best parts, we're going to get into highlighter. The highlighter that I've been using so much lately, I was not expecting this. I have the Maybelline Chrome Extreme Intense Metallic Highlighter. This one is in 300 Sandstone Shimmer. This color here is so gorgeous. On camera, it looks like a white tone, okay? But in person, it is more of a champagne color. It is so gorgeous. This literally goes with everything. It is so gorgeous. There's no glitter. There's no shimmer. It is straight up just highlighter. It looks like this is... I mean, I wouldn't say that this looks natural, but... It just looks one with my skin. It is so pretty. I love it so much. I have been using this with almost every look that I have been doing. I'm completely obsessed with it. It's drugstore and it's really inexpensive as well. So if you have not tried this out, you need to try it out. I'm very, 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 very late to the game but I'm glad that I tried it. For my lip combination, I have the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit in Kylie. I do not really use the liquid lipstick very often because it is pink but i do go in with the lip liner this lip liner is so pretty it is a little bit on the warm tone side but i don't mind it it's like warm tone neutral and this is literally like the perfect nude lip liner shade this is really creamy it's really easy to apply and it's really pigmented it's not one of those pencils where you have to work really really hard to get the color out this is so smooth pigmented beautiful i love this for the lipstick this is not anything new. I talk about this a lot, but it's literally perfect. This is the KKW Beauty Nude Lipstick in Nude 1. This is the lightest shade that they do have. This is really creamy. I said before that I didn't like the packaging because I thought it was cheap, but I do really love the packaging of this. It is very simple. It fits my aesthetic. The color is absolutely perfect. Typically when it comes to nude lipsticks, yes, I do have a lot of them, but it is really hard to find the right shade for me, and this shade is absolutely perfect for my skin tone. I know that she's rebranding, so the packaging is probably not going to be the same, and the formula, I don't know if it's going to be the same. I hope that it is because this is my holy grail. This literally goes with every single lip liner that I own. For the lip gloss, I do have the Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss in So Cute. This one looks so different than it does online than on me. I feel like online, this color looks more of a light peachy skin tone type color. Color, but in person, this is more pink, I guess you can say. So I usually put this over the, the lip liner just by itself or with the lip liner and the lipstick and it tones the color down a little bit. It neutralizes the lipstick and the lip liner and it is so pretty. It is so glossy. It feels really good. It is more of a sticky formula, which I love. I love knowing that a lip gloss is going to last you a really long time. That's what I love about sticky lip glosses. I also grew up with sticky lip glosses. Yes, your hair may get into it, 
but you have to sacrifice something, okay? <laughs> now we're gonna get into setting sprays. I have a setting spray and a fixing spray. The setting spray that I have is by Morphe. This is the Luminous Setting Spray. I am in love with this stuff. I will never not use this. I am obsessed with this. I am almost out of this. I'm gonna have to get more. This is gonna be my second one. This does such a good job of emulsifying all of the makeup together, all of the powders together to make your skin look smooth and put together. It doesn't mess up any of your makeup. It doesn't mess up. It just makes your skin look perfect. Over top, I will go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This stuff is absolutely amazing. This is a true fixing spray. This will hold all throughout the night. It won't mess any of your makeup up. It's like one of those fixing sprays that when you spray it on, you can feel it on your face. It feels as if you were to get like hairspray on your finger. That's what it would feel like, but it's not annoying but you know that it's gonna work and this definitely works on top of that with the both of these these both smell so good this smells bomb and this smells nice this smells bomb I'm gonna kind of get into maybe like the last I have three more products they're not gonna be anything makeup related but it is beauty related and i really really want to share these with you guys because i've been using it so so much lately to start out i'm going to show you the first hair product that i have been absolutely loving lately i have been using it non-stop i have not used my blow dryer in like two months okay this product is by complex culture beauty what is it the blow dryer honestly i can't remember the name it's the blow up brush i believe i am absolutely in love with this it does such a good job of blow drying my hair it cuts the blow dry time in half my hair is so smooth i can curl my hair with this i can straighten my hair with this you do have three options here so you have no heat and then you have two heat options here you have the lowest setting and then you have the highest setting. Typically just do the highest setting because you know I'm a stay at home mom. I gotta do everything fast. My kids need tending to. I need, actually I need to do laundry right now. I totally forgot about that. So I just have a whole bunch of stuff that I have to do. So anything that is quick and easy, I'm gonna do. This also has a swivel cord so it doesn't get caught and this is so lightweight. So if you guys do wanna check this out, I'll go ahead and link it down below. I don't have any like affiliate links or anything like that. I don't have a discount code, but I just love this product so much that I do want to share it with you guys. Another hair product that I've been loving so much lately, I had seen this on TikTok. I can't remember who it was, totally random. I saved it and then I went to go buy it and I freaking love it. This is the Redken Fashion Work 12 Hour hairspray now the reason why I had purchased this was when I was watching the girl she was saying that other people were saying oh well you can't hairspray your hair and use a curling iron because your curling iron or wand is gonna get hairspray all over it and she said no there are definitely some hairsprays out there I'm sure this is not even what it's called um, there are hairsprays out there that you can use you can spray one strand at a time and then use your curling wand and you won't have any residue on your curling wand and I was like yes I need that in my life so I grabbed it it's absolutely amazing. It smells really nice. It's not one of those hairsprays that's super crunchy. It does a really good job of holding a curl and not leaving any residue on any of your tools. This is amazing. I can't remember how much this was. Under $20, I think. The last product that I have is a fragrance. Some people love it, some people don't. Some people think it's cheap. Some people don't. I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it since like 2008, I believe, maybe even earlier than that. I have been wearing the Versace Bright Crystal fragrance. This fragrance smells so good on my skin. It is fun, lively, fresh, slightly florally, slightly fruity. The top notes are yuzu, pomegranate, and ice. Middle notes are peony, lotus magnolia, and base notes are musk, mahogany, and amber. Okay, so I love all those. Peony is my favorite flower. I think it smells lovely. It is so beautiful. Musk is definitely something that I absolutely love and that I've loved since I was a little girl because it reminds me of my kindergarten teacher and she was lovely as well. Her name was Mrs. Cook. Um, anyways, that's besides the point. I'm so random, sorry guys. But yeah, I have been loving this fragrance lately. I've been wearing it every single time that we do go out. It is just beautiful. 
I love it. It's an oldie but a goodie. All right, guys, so that is it for my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If there's anything else that you guys do want to see, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Oh my god. Or no, okay. Fucking garbage man. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Could be a lady, so garbage person, whatever. And for the, excuse me, for the blush palette, hold on. <laughs> I don't want to mess up my makeup. Okay. Ooh. If you did enjoy, if you did, if you did.